Hi, well, yeah, as you know, my name's Princess. I'm from Flavor Mag. Um, cool. So, yeah, thank you very much for sitting down with what me. What flavor? Flavor, well, what? we'll decide by the end of the interview. You can tell me. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I'm happy to grab some time with you to talk about your latest movie, Startup, which I did have the pleasure of seeing. And, yeah, without giving too much away, can you tell me a little bit about the film? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, it was very personal to us all, I think. Uh, we was gifted with this this set uh, in Belfast, disused prison. So we had that look, you know, we had that factor in, and it looked very convincing. Mm -hmm. So then that meant as actors, like I was very lucky that we had this, you know, similar like-minded fellow cast members. We all just wanted to set this reality. So hopefully, I mean, by by the very least, what you take away from the film is hopefully like an unfiltered experience. Uh, that should feel very authentic and prison and life. Hopefully. Okay, cool. Well, the film's definitely not for the faint-hearted. Hearted. Like it was very, very serious. Like there was a lot of serious scenes in there. One of the scenes which was striking to me was the nudity scene in the beginning. <laughs> um, like so, I wanted to touch on that. Like in terms of like your training and stuff, because like your physical attribute is definitely at the the top of nine or ten out of ten. Like, oh, is that nice something one. that you? <laughs> Is that something that you train for the film or is that something that you just do day to day? Like, did you condition for the film or do you normally train? No, I guess so, man. I think uh, I was very active growing up. Okay. And, and I, was, um, I was quite sports uh, involved one way or another and I box quite a lot. So, okay. you know, I work, but I, I, I very rarely train to, with a physique in mind. Okay. <laughs> just for health purposes. <laughs> I, I guess so, yeah, just keeping active, a nice outlet. But then some, nowadays while I'm working, you know, in this field anyway, I, I do have to sort of try and uh, acquire different, you know, maybe images or d different looks. Okay. And I had just done 300 and they kind of forced me into a gym like <laughs> twice a week, so, no, twice a day, sorry. Twice a day? Yeah, oh what, yeah, yeah. So what would be like your tip for someone who wants to get like a nice torso for the summer, you know, we're only in February, yeah. so they have got a little bit of time. Bit like, of winter to get weight summer, to lose, yeah, yeah, yeah. Summer body, how, what would be your top tip? Just do something you enjoy, man, I reckon. Because then it don't feel like working out, it doesn't feel like a, an expense. Yeah. Just find a hobby that keeps you active, you know, okay. get, get off your sofa. No. <laughs> cycle. <laughs> cycle, cycles a doddle. Yeah, really? just goes, like if there's somewhere nice to cycle, yeah. Okay. But I live in Derby, and sometimes your cycle gets nicked. Oh my gosh, there's so, a bit like that in London as well. Yeah, it can be a pricey, pricey a, a hobby. A pricey, pricey hobby. Okay, yeah. my favourite scene probably in the film has to be the chemistry between you and your father. Um, yeah, I feel, I really, really, really felt that. Did you guys genuinely have chemistry on set, or is that something that you just adopt as an actor to have with anybody that you work with? A bit of both. Okay. And I think we, I was lucky that, that Ben had that same mentality too. Okay. So it did equate to something very, very natural feeling. And yeah, there's a scene in particular where uh, Ben's performance and I guess, I guess the um, tension in the room, I, I was just in tears. Wow. And, and, and it made the final cut. Like that, that scene itself, you know, as, as was a large proportion of the movie, we was very undecided with a, a lot of the scenes we were shooting. Okay. And we were shooting sequentially as well, so we could really tell the story as it happened. Okay. So, but yeah, no, I have to thank Ben because what what he gave me in that scene put me in a position where I totally felt his paternal sort of uh, his paternal investment, and that that moved me enough to tears and. Thankfully, David thought it was worthy of making a film, so... Yeah, no, most definitely. I think it definitely, definitely worked. Well, it was an, a very unique experience for me in terms of, like, what I'm used to as an actor. Sometimes you do have to kind of force yourself into certain performances, sometimes. Okay. But in this, this sense, I was very lucky that I kind of had that, 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 that emotional level with, with, with Ben. OK, that's wicked. Well, I, I really enjoyed the film. Will there be a sequel? <laughs> there, are there possibilities? Because it kind of got left a bit open to me at the end. So, yeah. like, final thought: Do you think there will be a sequel? I mean, if it warrants it? one, if it warrants one, like, I, I'm more than happy to redo Eric. Yeah, definite. Um, he fascinates me enough as as a character to. Yeah, I mean, I'm o I'm open to it, but then I, I haven't got the sort of money that would be required <laughs> in order to make the thing happen. So, but yeah, certainly. I mean, it's it's not a closed book, on on that regard. I just ain't the one to make the decision. All right. Well, we can.